what's going on everybody's here welcome back to some more subnautica below zero last episode we started our base building we started the base building we didn't finish it because it was taking a little bit longer you know we had to make some trips we had to do some things so uh this episode we're gonna continue the base building stuff and i'm super excited hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things anyways let's go ahead and let's start off with we got a bunch of quartz in our inventory and the reason for that is because we want the aquarium and we want it's not over here anymore and i really want those glass domes i really want the glass domes because they look super cool so let's go ahead and let's get uh what we need like five glass i think in order to make that uh in order to make that aquarium so let's start with that and get those going also hopefully you all are having an absolutely fantastic day i'm having a pretty good day myself can't complain uh how many was that one two three four mm. Let's go verify. Okay, we do need, and oh, we do need two titanium as well. Okay, so there's that. Okay, one more glass. We got this, we got this, we got this. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day myself. Pretty excited about getting things done. I, I'm, I've been I've been enjoying playing Subnautica. I've been enjoying that Subnautica's been Anybody doing good. Just for looks. Or just your for look? Sushi Factory. Sushi Factory. Decide. Sushi Factory. <laughs> it's a Sushi Factory. Uh, but I've also been playing uh, the new Ark update. Man, I gotta say, like, I used to play the game a lot back in the back, way back, like when, you know, first came out. So I'm having fun playing that. So you should check it out. Um, okay. There's that. Now, uh, next thing I want to do, how much more quartz do we have? Okay. And then what do I need for, oh my gosh, we need four enameled glass oh geez louise um maybe we're not gonna put one on this one man we'll do one we'll do one yeah we'll do one i'm not gonna do two of them that's expensive holy moly so let's get four enameled glass okay well that means we need four glass all right that looks good so then we need what lead and a diamond you know, I kind of miss the snow stalker. I kind of miss the stalker teeth being the uh, the requirement for enameled glass. <laughs> this whole lead and diamond thing is for the birds. Um, I don't think do I. I gotta have. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. We have enough. Oh, yeah. This whole lead and enamel thing. Lead is just a pain to find in this game. I don't know what the dealio is, but it is the worst. Okay, so there's our four enameled glass. We need, what, a little bit more titanium? Okay, let's grab that. Let's grab some food real quick. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see. I need to actually take some of those uh, little seedling deals. All right, and then we're going to plant those in there. And then one, two, three. That'll give us enough food and water for now. All right, so there, there, no, wrong. This one, this one, boom. Mmm, that spicy fruit salad, though. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and, mmm, delicious. Oh, so tasty. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go grab ourselves some titanium that's right we need titanium actually you know what we need another hatch can we throw another hatch right here we need like a hatch to get in and out we need we need easier access to our base place you know what i mean that's a perfect place for a hatch my goodness all right so let's grab all this titanium good gosh we need so much titanium it is crazy how much titanium you can use in this game it's insane <sighs> all right so glass dome is gonna go on this one Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. <gasps> so good. Okay. So that looks good. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a room over here. Similar to how I did in my last one. Um, Large room petition door. Large room petition. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Is we're going to put... Yep. We're going to do this. We're gonna make a bedroom. And that's why we didn't want to throw a glass thing on this one. It's because like you don't want you don't want fish creeping up on you. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants a fish creeping on them. Um, do we want the door in the middle? 
Yeah, sure. Why not? Then we go in. Awesome. Now, uh, we have a couple options here. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to go ahead and make a partition like this. Can we put one right here in the middle? No. Darn it. I could put one there. Hmm. All right, we're just going to leave it like this. Uh, because, like, we're the only person on our base, right? Yep, absolutely. And then we're going to put... Let's see, do we have all the... Do we have all the fun stuff? Where's all, like, the... Do we not have the, like, the toilet and shower and whatnot? Maybe we don't. Oh, we don't even have that stuff yet. Oh, shoot. Oh, whoa. Danielle's bed. It looks like it's black and red. Is it black and red? <gasps> oh, this one looks fancy. Ah, it's Emmanuel's, though. Mm, yeah. I don't like Emmanuel. Jeremiah. You know what? We're just going to make it. We're just going to make the... We're going to make a double bed. Why not? Basic double bed, a quilted double bed. We'll make that. We'll grab some fiber mesh real quick. Oh, oh, I do have a fiber mesh. Holy moly. I already had one ready to go. Can you even believe that? All right, we're going to throw this in here. Because you always need a bed place to sleep, right? Absolutely. Uh, and then I was going to throw the bathroom stuff over here. But, like, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, executive desk. Actually, do we want the executive desk or do we want the desk? Yeah, let's use the executive desk. Why not? We'll make this place look fancy. Uh, office chair, command chair. Yeah, we'll use a command chair. All right. Turn your butt around. Turn around. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. We can do researchy stuff. Um, Okay. So that looks okay. Hmm. We don't have everything I was looking for, though. We don't have everything I, I wanted. Because I wanted, like I said, I wanted, like, the shower and stuff like that. But we didn't have that. So, um, okay. We also need... I think we should make the water filtration system. Uh, Where's the water filtration system? Water filtration machine. I think we should make that. Titanium, copper, and aerogel. I think that needs to go in here. Just in case. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we need to have it. Okay, let's see. We need aerogel, which is the gel sacks. And ruby. So let's go make those. We're gonna we're gonna use this tank too, don't worry. We have all we have a lot of eggs to hatch. So let's go make two of these guys. I don't understand how Ruby makes a Ruby and a gel sack make aerogel, but you know what? Who am I to understand? Let's grab some copper wire. I like how the lights flicker every time we do anything. Uh, and then water filtration machine. Do I want that right here? Yeah, that's, that looks like a good spot. You know, kind of over here by the food and water area. Ta-da! Man, that is fancy. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, nuclear reactor. We could do a nuclear reactor room. We really could. Advanced wiring kit, plastic ingot, lead. That really wouldn't be that bad. Then we'd have power like out the wazoo. And we could do the nuclear reactor in this room right here. Um, let's do it. One, two, three. Right? Wasn't it three lead? A plastic steel ingot and an advanced wiring kit. Okay. I think I got what I need for the advanced wiring kit. I always mess this up. I always forget something. We need a wiring kit and a computer chip. What am I missing for that? Oh, the copper wire. No, we should be good. I think. Make that. Make this. And then make that. Right? That, that. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! I did grab everything. Winning the first time. All right. So there's that. Uh, Wait, do we have everything we need for that now? No, the plastic ceiling it. That was the other thing. All right. Now we're good. So let's get some nuclear power in here. Uh, Let's put it right there like that. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Uh, you know what's actually kind of cool about this? Is like, this has this much power. But the solar panels will allow it to charge to that. Uh, yeah, it'll be kind of cool. Okay, so now for nuclear reactor stuff. Nuclear rods. Oh, I think I need a whole bunch more. 
lead because I'm pretty sure we just chewed through all of our lead. Jeez Louise, lead is so, oh, so overused in this game. Wait, where's all the urine? Okay, so we got urinate right here. Depleted reactor water rod. I wish we could reuse those. Let's go look at the, what's the recipe for a, a nuclear reactor rod here? Um, electronics, reactor rod, one lead, two uranite crystals, a titanium and glass. All right, so we need more lead because we need to power this thing, right? Of course. And we have quartz already in here. Wait, why did I not need two aerogel for something? Huh? I don't know. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go take the prawn suit out. Let's go grab more lead. And then we will, uh, I gotta empty it out first. And then we'll, uh, we'll get some nuclear reactor rods made. All right, how is the prawn suit? Uh, 44 power? Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. We're gonna, let's go charge this bad boy up before we go. <laughs> no, thank you. I guess we go check on the, uh, the sea truck as well. Jeez Louise. Is it about dead? I don't think so, because the prawn suit we've been using the most. Right? I think. Yeah, it's at 94, so it's good. It's good. All right, we'll just take this over here and prepare ourselves. And we're going to head over to the area that I was in last time into the uh, the mining area, but into like the 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 volcanic biome kind of area. You know what I mean? The the underwater hot spots, because we found a lot of lead there last time. And actually, my inventory was full from lead. So, well, it wasn't full from lead, but it was full. All right. Yeah, I know you're inactive. You know what? Hold on a second. What does the uh what does the recyclotron require? Because if we have those nuclear waste things, oh I wonder if that'll actually even work in a recyclotron though. It's like Recyclotron, Ion Cube and Titanium Ingot, that's it. Okay, let's do that. Let's make that. Let's just see what we get. One, two, three, four, five. And then because we have those, um, we have those depleted rods. I don't know if those will actually go in there. They probably won't, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what happens. I mean, oh, it looks so good out there. It looks so good. Okay. Recyclotron. Let's throw that like right here. This hybrid technology allows for the recycling of natural resource components without rinsing and sorting them into bins first. Item cannot be recycled. Darn it. Okay, well, never mind. Poop. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go throw these back in storage for now. I was hoping that maybe they could be recycled and then they maybe would give us some lead, you know? But no, that would be too easy. All right, we're good. We're charged up, ready to go, I think. I think we're ready to go. Perfect. Let's head back over and let's grab some lead so we can get some power. We need the power, the nuclear power. Uh, this way. You know, I just love going and getting a lead. It is just, it's like one of my favorite pastimes. A Subnautica, it's just an amazingly good time. <laughs> I can't believe there's no uh, drillable like lead outcrops anywhere. I cannot believe that. Like, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's just crazy to me. Uh, we might actually go ahead and pick up a little bit of diamond too. Also for here, but lead is 100% what I'm after. Oh, look at we're on top of the nets. It's like we're playing hide and seek. Can anybody find me? No. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Lead, lead, lead. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of lead because it's basically all over this area. Uh, but I'm not taking the titanium though, because titanium is, you can find it way too easy elsewhere. Well, I think I pretty much picked this area clean of lead. Oh, there's one right there. There's a couple here and there that I miss. For the most part, I think we got, oh, there's one right there. I think we got almost all of it. Still getting titanium off of them. <laughs> the game loves me. All right, well, 
that is all I can find for now. Got more titanium and stuff on, but that should be good. We got a little, we got a decent little amount of lead. I mean, nothing crazy. Is this silver? I'm trying to decide. Have I been missing silver? I don't think so. I honestly think copper is what I need the most of. Is there a little copper deposit down here somewhere? That's gold. I could probably use a copper deposit before I could use anything else. Oh, wait, is this copper? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to grab some copper while I'm here, too. Might as well. And we're back at home. Oh, feels good. Feels good. So I grabbed, uh, yeah, I grabbed a little bit, like, you know, a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, copper, whatnot. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. We want to make some reactor rods. That's what we want to do because we need all of the power. Um, now, let's see. Let's go ahead and put the copper away. I don't think I need that. Let's grab. Where is the uranite? Where is it? Right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I want to have like a full reactor's worth of rods and then we'll probably never ever have to make any ever again <laughs> hopefully now how does how do we make these what do we need titanium and glass Ugh! oh we're gonna need glass titanium and glass cut stop it <laughs> let me through stupid stairs being all complicated and stuff um i don't think we needed the gold did we need diamond? I don't remember if we need a diamond. I know we need a titanium. I know we need a glass. Okay, so that'll give us three reactor rods. I think. If I grabbed everything correctly. Unless I needed something else. Nope, I put something else away. Oh, the glass. We need the glass. Okay, good. Alright, let's go grab the last glass so we can get four reactor rods. Because that's how many it holds. And then we're our, our base will be good for power now i think it's gonna be super nice too because um we have solar panels on here so i i believe the solar panels will give power before the nuclear reactor has to so in theory the solar panels like the the reactor should i think only give us power from the reactor if we're pulling more than what the solar panels can give us so like at night and stuff like that so perfect look at that oh my gosh Look at that bad boy charge up. Oh, it's nice. My skin feels tingly while I'm standing next to this. <laughs> awesome. One nuclear reactor up and running. Okay. So let's see. There's other decorative stuff I want to do, but I'm, I'm like, I also don't want to do uh, too much more decorative stuff until we unlock everything. You know what I mean? Because I'm definitely missing stuff. And that's because there's areas we haven't gone to yet. So... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to decorate anything else. I kind of want to just get stuff in here, like, utilitarian-wise. We do need to throw... Sea fluid intake. Oh, I need to drink something. I'm dying. Um, I do need to throw some storages in here. Can I have those? I don't need the salt, but, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Stabilizing. Uh, salt. Does salt have any use anymore? It used to be... We used to turn salt and table coral into bleach and then bleach into water. I mean, I guess we could cure food with it. Hmm. I feel like salt has a use, but I can't remember what it is. I don't know. I'm super excited about our nuclear power. That's what I'm super excited about. I'm just saying. Like, that's kind of amazing. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in here that we could make? We could make some, like, some planty looking stuff. Um, <laughs> hmm. We do have a command room, a control room. Four titanium advanced wiring kit and glass. Oper operational hub for observing, managing habitat. And that'll actually give us a beacon, too. This is the most expensive beacon that we could put on our base. Uh, but that would be nice. Let's do that. So, titanium advanced wiring kit and glass. Ooh, do I have enough stuff for glass? Oh, I do. Wonderful. Do I have everything? Yes! Okay, control room. You know, actually, right there might be a good spot. We might have to... Can we... Let's deconstruct this guy. Can we throw the control room like right? Oh, you know what? It's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stick to both of them, is it? Um, hold on, let's get in here. Let's move this guy out of the way. That's right, because there's a there's only a door on one side of it. So I need to figure out where we want it. Uh maybe control room. 
could have it right there. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll have the control room right here. Looks good. Looks good, feels good. Uh, and then we need... In the control room, you can change base lighting and colors, rename your base, and see information about power and structural integrity. But not the integrity of societal power structures. Okay, there we go. Let's check out our, uh, let's check out our stuff. Oh, look at this. Power status, 42. If we're getting plus 5, we're drawing, uh, 85. Structural integrity, uh, 14. Navigate mini map. Power status, structural integrity. Where's all our structural integrity coming from, if not from the multi-purpose room? Uh, I don't think this thing is quite right. Disable station. I don't know. It is pretty cool, though, that you have, like, a 3D representation of your base. I think it's cool. It's neato. Structural integrity, 14. Power status. Base color. I'm not going to change the base color because it, it, uh, it just seems like when you change the base colors, things just look off. You know, it just doesn't look quite right. So I'm just going to leave it alone. I know people are going to be like, why don't you just change the color? Yeah, I don't know. The base just doesn't. I don't I don't like when I change the base colors. <laughs> I just don't like it. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Well, that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, next episode, we will be back and we'll probably actually start going out and doing stuff again. Because like I said, I wanted to do some base building stuff. Um, we got a little bit of base, base building done, but there is more I would like to do. We need to unlock more stuff, though. So that is going to be a thing. Uh, but what we need to do, let's see, we already did Delta Station Dog. We need to go check out some alien artifacts, and then those are going to lead us to land, and then land, we're going to have to do some stuff. So yeah, we're going to be uh, we're going to be continuing the story in the next few episodes. So like I said, make sure you stick around, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, double check if you're subscribed, because sometimes you get subscribed, and then sometimes you get unsubscribed. So yeah, make sure you're still subscribed. And uh, thank you so much for coming out. You have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Uh oh, that poor peeper. I backed up to him and I killed him. I'm sorry.